All right, everybody, welcome back. We're gonna continue drawing this face and we're gonna start working on the painting part of it. So adding some color to this uh, picture here. So we've got a ink layer, we've got a sketch layer, and then we got our background, okay? So we're gonna add some new layers here to start adding color. And you know, one of the first things I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my background layer and I'm gonna add a tone. It's, I'm gonna turn off my sketch layer, let's do that too. But I'm gonna go to my background layer and what I want to do is I just kind of want to tone the background. So I don't have anything crazy in mind here, but let's just do like a mid gray. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to bring this uh, cursor up to the side here. I can get kind of a mid-tone gray. And also, let's see, I can go to my swatches and I can go to the gray scale. And I can also pick a nice gray from there. And I'm going to use the paint bucket. So paint bucket tool is right here. And I'm going to dump in color, okay? So the paint bucket tool uh, is stacked with a gradient tool. And if it's on the gradient tool, it's going to do something totally different. If I click like that, it'll blend the two colors. That's not what I want right now. So I'm going to undo it, Command-Z. I want to click and hold down, and the paint bucket tool is what I want. Okay, not the bottom one, this middle one right there. G is the shortcut, and I can dump in a color. Let me see what I have going on. Opacity is 100. Uh, do I like that color? I, I think I want a little darker. So let me go to my color here, and bring it down a little, and maybe I'll warm it up. So I'm going to take it here, and I'm on the red, even though it's on gray right now, but I'm going to bring it over slightly so I can get a little warmer color. That's even too much. I don't even want that much red. Just a slightly warm gray. Okay, there it is right there, barely off the edge there. Now I've got a gray tone. That way when I paint, the white isn't so overwhelming. Okay, so Painting over gray or, you know, is a lot better than just over white. Okay, so now I've got my ink layer and I've got, okay, I don't have, a, I did have a lock, but let me unlock it here like I did. And then what I'm gonna do is lock it for now. So locking it is uh, right here where it says lock. I'm gonna go across to the lock button, the very last one. And that's gonna prevent anything from happening to it. Uh, the other lock buttons do are different ways of locking it, transparent pixels, painting, um, moving, yeah, whatever. But the one I, the two I mostly use are this one, this lock transparent pixels button, which we're going to use as well shortly, and the lock complete lock button. Okay, so let's lock that completely, and then we need to make a new layer. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my little drop down, hit new layer, and we're going to call this one skin. Okay. This color layer is gonna go below my ink layer. And all I'm gonna do is block out the area for skin. I'm not gonna really worry about painting it. I just wanna block the area out. So I gotta find a nice little skin tone here. So I'll go over here, maybe bring it more towards the orange. Make that a little lighter. And let me find a brush. I don't wanna, I'm on my paint bucket right now. If I do that, it's gonna color the whole thing. A little yellow here, let me make that a little more skin like I think okay let's see so let's go to B for brush and right clicking if you have a, a pen it might have a right click button on it you can go there or you can go to a little drop down uh, but right click here and I just want to fill in the area so I'm gonna do my actually let me go to my default brushes we have the same ones Okay, so I just need to fill in the area. So let's go to, let's do, I could do the hard round, but it's kind of maybe a little too um, undynamic, I guess, but we'll see. I'll just try this one for now. Okay, this is on my skin layer and I'm just filling this in. Now the thing is, we're gonna paint on multiple layers here. so hair is going to go on top. So if I go a little bit underneath the hair, that's fine. And actually everything is going to go on top, even eyes. So I don't mind going over the eyes.
So there are other ways to do this as well. Um, using the lasso tool and dumping in color and it's cleaner maybe and you're gonna end up with a cleaner uh, a cleaner layer I guess but it's a little more tedious and in the long run I don't think it really makes it necessarily better and maybe it's faster at, at points it seems faster but once again I'm trying to go for a simple kind of easy approachable way to just start painting so there I go got skin again I have to be careful here I wasn't thinking I could just do that and the hairs gonna be on top of it anyway so it doesn't matter okay there we go we've got skin blocked in okay so now what I want to do is instead of hitting this lock button on the, the very end here I don't want to hit that one I want to hit the lock the transparent pixels button which is this one right here and what that does if I let me turn off all my other layers so this is what I really have on my skin layer but I've locked the transparent pixels right Photoshop shows us transparency with this uh, checkerboard this gray and white checkerboard so if I try to paint over here it won't do anything let me switch colors here for a second but if I paint on top it will work because it's locked all the pixels except the ones that are not transparent so really handy okay let me put these back on that's what it did so now let's make a new layer call this one hair it's going to go above my uh, skin layer here and just got to find a color for her hair let's it was like a brown I guess and you can easily change colors as well in this method just trying to find a brown I like Maybe a little more on the red oops move that now maybe a little too red I think All right, we'll go with that. What was I saying? I was saying something. Oh, you can easily change the colors. So since we've locked the transparent pixels, we can easily paint over the color we have really quickly if we don't like it. Okay, so this one's on top. So I do wanna be a little more careful when I get to the face because, uh, or the edges, because that's gonna be the edge of my color so once I get in here I'm gonna zoom in a little bit That's a, that, was not, that was a lot of it let's go a little bit there and see now if I paint over the uh, marks there for the skin it's not gonna matter now if I now here I go like here's a little mess up here I didn't paint far enough on the skin right there so there's a little gap there that's not great in order to fix it, I need to fix it on the skin layer. So watch, let's make that fix right now. I'm gonna go back to the skin layer. I'm gonna turn off the lock the transparent pixels button. I'm going to pick the same color I have with the skin holding down option. And then I can paint underneath it like that. So you can paint underneath and it's doing all sorts of things but I can't see it when it's underneath the brown because that, that layer is on top. So now I'm gonna lock it again, lock the transparent pixels. Go back to the hair layer and then switch colors back by holding down option. Now I can continue painting in here. All right, now for this side. Whoops, there we go. A little dot there. Let's see what's going on. I don't know. Okay, so over here, let's see. Now I've got the skin layer, right, which I'm still on top of, but 
over here, the uh, hair is behind it, right? In the drawing. But on my layers, it's actually in front. So just got to be aware now. Whoops. There we go. Got to need to be a little more careful around the edges here. messing on the edge. So command Z is my friend. Okay, so let's go ahead and go. Now I've got some points here, so I kind of have to get out of this brush, I believe. This is I need to get some thicker to thin lines going. So Go for that one there, the hard round pressure one, where it can lift off and get a thinner line. All right, I'm going to rotate here. Oh, there we go. Like that. Just because. Do a better curve that way. Again, the shortcut for rotate is R. And if you go a little out of the lines and some like the hair, it's, or anything really, it's probably not the biggest deal at all because we can fix everything later. And it might be better to keep moving faster than to get caught up on how perfect every little line is at this stage, right? We don't want to really stress about that. Get that there. That being said, I'm not crazy about how sloppy that corner is. I'm going to fix it. Then I have a little skin there where I didn't paint far enough, but I was planning on fading this off or something at the end anyways. So I'm not really too worried about it. All right, let's finish this up here. And then I got a little um, loose here with the drawing, so I got to kind of determine where the hair is and where the gaps are, at least for now. Time to rotate a little more. All right, now I just planned on erasing here. And even if I don't have anything back there, but I think it would continue. Obviously, you can still color whatever you think you need to. Getting okay, last, I'm just gonna take my eraser and kind of clean up a little bit here and a little bit there. All right, put it back to normal. R for rotate, and I hit reset view. Back to my brush, E for eraser, if I want to clean up something like that. And I think we're all right. Zoom out. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and lock that one for now as well. Now I'm going to do the lips, eyes, and then we'll probably do the iris separate just because. So I'm going to go new layer. And we'll just call this features, I guess. And it's kind of just your decision on what you think needs to be blocked out, how many layers you need. Um, and it's, and it's, the layers are to make your life easier when you paint. So too many might kind of bog it down, um, but I, can, I know that these eyes and the lips are far enough apart where they wouldn't, you know, I'm not going to run any danger in painting on top of them when I'm painting one. So I can do them on the same layer. So I got my features here. I'm going to start with my skin color. Go option, pick that. And then to get the lips, I'm just going to make it a little more red, a little more saturated. 
Mm, mess with it a little bit because I don't like that color. Let's see. It's a little better, maybe. maybe a little more towards the pink. I think that's the direction I want to go. Not bad direction. All right, I'll stick with that for now. Again, I can change it later. Okay, there's lips. Now I'm going to go up to the uh, white part of the eye. I'll do that next. But I don't want to make it just white. So I'm going to pick the skin color again, and then I'm going to lighten it up. And then block it in here. And I'm ignoring the iris for now. I'll even get that little corner there, even though that's going to be pink later. I just want to have some layer that it's on. OK, and then lastly, I'll just do another layer and uh, call that one. I'll just call it details. And there is no real right or wrong. So I'm going to lock my features layer. Do whatever you name your layer. As long as it helps you, it's fine. OK, so for eyes, I think I'll do brown for now. We'll see. So I'm going to use the same color I did for the hair. Lighten it a little bit. All right, let's take a look. Okay, that's fine for now, I think. We got it kind of blocked in. Okay, I think it's just about ready to start adding that shadows and highlights to, but there it is for now. All right, that is the next step, and I will see you guys in the next video when we continue painting this and adding some shadows and highlights. See you then.